I got it right once, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. I've gotten it right once. Maybe twice. I don't know. Hey. Three times a lady. Yes. Exactly that. Hey, it's Sunday. It's Retro Night, and I am playing one of my favorite games of all time. <laughs> that's very good timing. I love it. Anyway, um, I'm playing one of my favorite games of all time, the original F-Zero for the SNES. Um, we haven't gotten an F-Zero game in a, in a pretty long time now, because, um, you know, if if so, or if or Nintendo's going to spend like the money on a racing game, they're going to pour it into the Mario Kart franchise. Which they've been doing, um, and they've you know they still have new tracks coming out for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which has been which was released like 13 years ago or some such nonsense. Um, and well, they just put like they just put them in there, Captain Falcon. Yeah, just just yeah, just do that. Just yeah, why why make another racing game when they already have one and they can just add more shit to it? Why not? Um, but I'm very excited. I, I ooh. Hey, that's the thing. Hi, Danielle. Thank you for the host, Danielle. Hello. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. This is going to be a fun night. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, tomorrow I'm going to continue with uh, Post Heaven's Word MSQs. And I might be announcing the September schedule. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Probably. Probably. I thought it was weird that you added pants wearing Fridays to that schedule. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, I'm going to ask that you watch your fucking mouth and not use that kind of shit language in here, okay? We don't talk, we don't say the P word. Pants. Oh, God. It's. Liar, liar, plants for hire. It's so bad. God. It's pants on fire, Patrick. Huh. Well, you would know, liar. God, here we go. Oh, oh you I, boys are... For anyone interested, I'm again playing Dragon Age. It's true, he Inquisitor. is. He's, he's as you would, as the kids say, back on his bullshit. I just... I'm in an odd place. I'm 80 hours into this playthrough. I'm, like, ready to be done with the game, but I'm also nowhere near ready to be done with the game, so there's much to do. You wanna- you wanna do more things. There's just- there's always stuff that you wanna do, yeah? There's that's, stuff that needs doing. Listen, that's why I'm always doing side quests, alright? Like, shit's gotta get done, and fucking nobody else is gonna do it, so I guess the fucking Warrior of Light has to do everything. I am- listen, mm. Viv? Viv? Viv that- there's not no you're not you have not paid me enough to do to do that all right let's do this thing okay so <laughs> every night will be done for the entire month of september bowsette cosplay <laughs> oh no i didn't mean to, no no i fucked this up because i forgot key bindings or controller bindings It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Listen, I'm not... No, we're not jerking my meat. You stop that. What's the max speed of this? 457? That's not bad. What's the max power? Alright, I'm gonna start as the Blue Falcon. What are you kids doing oh, no. in my house? Oh, for God's sake. Bobo just took a crumpled water bottle, blew into it to reinflate it, but she didn't realize it was covered in garlic butter. I just witnessed garlic butter splatter all over the inside of the work truck at Mach 5. Okay. I have several quet. What the fuck did you just type? I have several questions. And they all start with, why is the water bottle covered in garlic butter? Yeah, okay. That's a reasonable place to start. I uh, you, you don't cover yours in garlic butter? No! No, I don't cover my water bottles in garlic butter, because one, I don't have water bottles. 
because I'm not drinking water. I'm drinking sweet tea. And second, mm-hmm. if I'm going to cover it in any kind of butter, it's going to be honey butter because, duh, I'm a bear. I don't, I don't understand. Gannett, good to see you, friend. How are you? Yeah, that's right. This is what we do around here. We, we play old shit that you never thought you would see again, but I'm doing it. All right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this bad boy on beginner because it's been a while. Water bottle pulled out of the bag of trash containing garlic butter from Pizza Hut. Okay, next question: Why would you put your mouth on something you pulled out of the trash? Well, never mind. She's dating you. Oh, 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 so there you go. God (laughs) damn, shots fired! (laughs) Wow. (laughs) <laughs> be fair, that was an easy one. <laughs> Just let her go. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, God damn, right? <laughs> My point exactly, Krako says. <sighs> I, I mean... Allie Beth, he's cold for the, when those occasions when even you aren't that cold. Jesus That's Christ, crazy. fucking shots fired. <laughs> Fuck Krako in particular, met- I guess. We have met me before, have we not? No, I mean, that's a fair point. Oh god, not one of the flashy ones. No, get the fuck away from me. Oh. Well, I hope everyone's doing well tonight. It's, uh... Bean and I went swimming today. For a little bit. And it was a good time. No one was at the pool. That was good. I enjoyed that part immensely. Ah, uh, I hope everyone else has had a wonderful weekend. Viv, boy, howdy, you had a time yesterday, buddy. You had... Viv had all kinds of fun stuff go on yesterday. Slash this... Yeah. Yeah. Needed a bottle for sunflower seeds. If he, and if he's trashed, then you're the raccoon. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's that's all kinds of implications there. I gotta tell you. Yeah. yeah, Viv, Viv, are you are you are you starting to lean into your thirties, bud? Viv's 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 trying to get into his thirties a little early, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, to your little shit. <laughs> Go ahead, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I'll wait. Oh, fuck you. I hear cooked froggo goes well with garlic butter. Ooh, mm, some garlic butter slathered fried frog legs. Did you ingest too many adult beverages? I think he was up past his bedtime. (gasps) No! You son of a bitch. Louie! Louie, what are you doing? I started my 30s 12 years ago. Yeah, I bet you did, buddy. I bet you fucking did. You sound like Lolly. Lolly's like, I've been in my 30s since the fucking fourth grade. What's your point? 40 years ago, I started my 30s. Yeah, exactly, right? (laughs) Meanwhile, Tom's over here like, fuck you all. I was born at the age of 70. Get off my goddamn lawn. <laughs> Wake up for the works. Yeah, I kind of figured it was about that time for you, Louie. I hope you had a wonderful weekend there, friendo. You had one adult beverage last night and you were done for? Listen, you know what? Sometimes that's all you need is just one. I love Big Blue. The big blue track in uh, Mario Kart 8 is really good, too. Like, both Mute might City have, uh, and Big Blue are just really well done. Might have only ever seen these tracks in Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo 60... No, not Nintendo 64, the GameCube. Uh, uh-huh, Fuck. uh-huh. I'm, a, I'm over here just being... You need to slow down a bit, buddy. You're like... 30 kmh too high. Listen, don't worry about it. 
Don't worry about it. What are you? What are you? The fucking F Zero police? Yes. Oh well, then fuck you then. Uh, Fritz, thanks for the lurk, buddy. I appreciate you being here. Trying to offer you another, and I was like, no, that would be bad. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Boy, I gotta tell you, I'm, uh... Last night's menu sounded pretty fantastic, Tom. Especially, you know, for you. Like, you got steak and you got potatoes four different ways. Like, you got the yes. four major potato groups. <laughs> That's what she said. Their au gratin is arguably even better than their steak. Jesus Christ. That's... That's a lot. A certain age one is old enough to give you a hangover. You should... You're not careful. Hey, listen. It depends on... Listen, everybody's body chemistry is different. You could be, like... Like, straight out of high school and one could give you a hangover. But, you know, also that could be because you're an idiot kid. It depends on what the one is. Oh god. Oh god! Oh, it was one of the splody ones. Yeah, you did, Louie. Yeah, Tom and Alibeth had their uh, their third anniversary dinner last night, and they had quite the menu. Oh. With their family-style potato sides. Oh, Age and Gen X. That's yeah, that's true. <laughs> Red Bull Whiplash and Ivy Puffin. <laughs> Aww, Bowser is being being an old man on the patio. Oh, looking at life, looking at things. Just kind of being a really out. good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. I love oh, that dog. I guess I got him. He's my buddy. Come on, little guy. I haven't seen him in a while. I should come see him soon. And stay for, like, exactly 20 minutes because that's Elena's limit on strangers in the house. That doesn't get much Not stranger. inaccurate. <laughs> Being a Nicky puppy. <laughs> it is almost time for him to get another, uh... Another trim, isn't it? We're, we're probably gonna get it done once we get, get back from... The weddings trip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's coming up here. Uh, at, uh, week after next. I day, had a it? wedding once. You did. I was there. I saw the whole thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I feel like the yearly celebration of that was recently. That's a thing. People do that. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Wasn't that recently? Well, like three months ago? No, no, he's talking about yours. Oh, mine! Yeah, remember sure. the one that you just had? No. Yeah. Well, I didn't have the anniversary yet. You had the celebration. I had a celebration. <laughs> but what about celebration, second? yes! <laughs> what about second celebration? <laughs> there we go. All right. Back up to well, full-ish power. The trick, really... I, I should... Like, Uber there and back or something? So that I can enjoy their delicious cocktails? Mm-hmm. But, I'm so full on the way back, I don't want to be near strangers. <laughs> That's... <laughs> for their own protection? For... well, no, for mine. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, second celebration? You have... We have piqued Ali Beth's interest. <laughs> she, we have her attention now. Uh, by the way, I don't know when we would do it, um, but I, would, I was talking to Bean about it yesterday, I think. Yesterday, today, I don't remember point is, we were discussing it very recently, and uh, we would like to come visit you two very soon, and also hear what all the hubbub is about with this place.
Well, I mean, it's Florida. You live here, too. I don't know why you'd want to come see me. Not you. I mean, I want to come see you, too. Well, really, I want to come see your dog. <laughs> but I mean... We do have a, a room for people who are here, but don't live here, for but people. also need a place to sleep. Oh, God, death wind. Oh, God, death wind. I forgot that. Oh, that wind gets you. Speaking of death wind... <laughs> <laughs> Boy, all, the, all that steak and potatoes gassy. really gives you the parts. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a rough one. That's what Fart said. joke achieved. Oh no, I'm in sixth now. This is this is what you call not ideal. Well, it's ideal if you're one of the first five. Well, I guess that's fair. Alright, I'm in third. I'm in third. This is okay. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Louis like, a... Louis like, what is it this, this... What the weird people talk about, the strangers? What's that shit that they do I don't fucking like? Farting? No, not that. The other thing. The thing where they talk to you. Oh, I hate that so much. Small talk infuriates me above all other communication. Yeah. Tom, okay, something you need to understand about my best friend, Tom. Tom doesn't like things that are pointless. Okay? Tom likes things... Ooh. He he prefers that things have a purpose. I like pointy things. He likes <laughs> pointy <laughs> things. <laughs> That's why he likes Transformers. Several, several pointy edges. Okay? Um, I thought he liked them because there's more than meets the eye. Yes, well, that's where the pointy edges are. Take your pick. <laughs> that's uh, a penis. We can have big talk rather than small talk. Oh, I like big talk. I like I like I like a lot of big talk. Where especially you know, we don't necessarily back it up afterwards. We just talk a bunch of shit. And... You like big talk and you cannot lie. Yes. You other linguists can't deny. Um. Robot kind of linguist. Yes. Also yes. Um, but yeah, talking shit is fun. We, and me and Bean, our, our relationship is basically based on talking shit. Like, um, well, you know that one guy that works for me that's always hanging out here? God, he's got such a no. fucking face. Such a face. I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh my god. It's, it's so, like, facial and stuff. And face-like, even. Woo! So, speaking of antisocial things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a restaurant somewhere that has a robot server. Oh. And they gave it a cat face. So, when are you planning to take? When are you planning to take Elena to the place that has no humans to deal with and also the cat faced <laughs> robot? <laughs> It's apparently in Vancouver. Oh, so you just gotta go to Canada. Okay, fine. Let's yeah. go to Canada. We'll swing through. Like, we'll 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 make this a thing. We'll we'll go to Canada. We'll visit Jason Lamb. We'll swing over to see Hiltzy while we're up there, and then it'll be a grand time. Sorry, Getting Jason. Healthcare taken care of while we're up there. Jason Lamb is only interested in you if you are a squirrel. <laughs> Jesus, I've. Uh, I just love, I love the, the fucking, like, the picture he posted with him and the squirrel. The one is, like, he's actually wearing the Milk Stein shirt, which just, I'm just pleased as punch. Ellie Beth was showing me a, a video where he was outside, I guess in his backyard, trying to do some kind of work, house renovations or something, uh -huh. and the squirrel was continuing to come to him because he keeps feeding the squirrel and so when the squirrel sees him the squirrel now expects food yeah well uh, i i have a cat that's very food motivated so yes i understand this damn it I got stuck there again he has created a monster and it's great i mean in fairness, Jason Lamb is also a monster. What would be like... 
what would be like the, the, the Canadian version of Frankenstein? That's who created Jason Lamb. Just with like spare parts. <laughs> Dr. Moosen Syrup. <laughs> Dr. Moosen Syrup! <laughs> outside? Yeah, I went. I, we went outside today, Louie. We went outside. In fairness, there was a pool, and it was nice. And also, there weren't any people there. Okay, I just have to survive this last lap. Woo! Maintaining control around these corners is difficult. Girl just hops up in his lap and sits on his shoulder waiting for... I mean... That's what we do with Loaf. I'll do this thing like, Loaf knows when it's almost dinner time. Because she'll get up like two, three, four minutes before dinner. She'll get up on the, um, she'll get up on the arm of the couch next to us. Because we have two couches. We have like the, the love seat that we sit on. And then we have the, um, the sleeper or the, the sofa with the, the chase on the end of it. So she'll get on the other one and sit on the arm of the chair next to me, or on the arm of the couch next to, to my spot, and just sit there and wait, because she knows. And then I'll do this thing where I'll go, no, and her, like her eyes get huge, her ears go back, and she's like, Meow. and she's like, she goes apeshit because she knows it's almost time for nom noms. And she gets very snuggly and very, like she's, in her own very soft, gentle way, she gets very aggressively snuggly, and and it's just adorable. I love it so much. But yeah, she knows when Nom Nom's time is. Extremely food motivated, our cat, which is why I've been able to train her. Not bad, not bad. All right. Yes, I have Pavlov the cat, that's right. And now she does things without food because she's been trained. Like she'll give me her paw. It's very I love when she gives me the paw. Like it's it's like a little shake, but for a cat. I would oh. give you the middle paw. I know you would. No you would, you son of a bitch. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the golden fox, because this is the one that I always use as a kid. Alright, we're gonna do Queen League now. Do they combine? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Form like one giant whatever the fuck those are. Yeah, legally distinct uh, transforming uh, um, joinable robots. Neat. Yeah. Also, no, they do not. I wish they did. That'd be cool. Oh. So you're a fucking liar. Yeah, Got exactly. It. Yeah, that's, that's actually exactly what's going on here. Disappointing. Yeah, I know. See, this isn't the fastest car, but it has the, the quis, quickest acceleration, and that's important to me because I run into stuff and I want to get back up to speed quickly. Surprise! Right. You're all on fire. <laughs> she is. She is the best loaf. I love that kitty so much. She's. She has so much love in her little tiny kitty heart. The vet says she's a very petite girl, and she's not going to really get much bigger than she is now at a whopping 7.2 pounds. Although, let me tell you, uh, instances like where we were laying in bed last night, uh, Bean and I went to look, go lay down, and we normally turn on the TV, but last night we didn't. We just kind of laid there and chilled out, because it had been a long week. And um, she comes in there after a few minutes and, like, gets on my chest, like... She starts climbing on Beans like, and Beans like, oh, because, you know, tiny cat paws digging into her leg. And so Loaf gets up there. She starts climbing over. She's like, she's climbing over my legs. I'm like, yeah, I know, because she started climbing onto mine from climbing, climbing across Bean to get to me. And then she gets on me. She starts giving kisses to my face, as she as is tradition. And she goes, uh, okay, I think I'm done with kisses right now. Let's do uh, let's do the thing where I just sit on your your chest. So she's sitting on me, and her two front her two tiny little front paws are just on my chest, and they're just pushing into me because she's just sitting without a care in the world. And I'm like, 
Okay, this is what we're doing now. It's fantastic. But I love that cat. God damn it, I love it. But then she got up, she went down by Bean's feet, and she laid at our at uh at Bean's feet for a while. Last night was actually one of the, the best nights she's had sleeping, like being able to, to come in the room with us at bed after bedtime. Is it easier for me to turn left? Uh not necessarily. I just kind of muscle you know, memory. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe maybe muscle memory. Maybe it's just I don't know. I just sometimes I just maybe it's Maybelline. Yes. Oh, I gotta actually drive. Um, sometimes I just you know, kind of whatever feels like where I want to go. How which direction I want to go. I just do it. I want a remake of this. Ooh, these are the magnetic ones. Ooh. And uh, I want a new Star Fox game that isn't terrible, but... Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You haven't had a... Have you had a good Hold Star Fox breath. game since 64? No. Jesus. Unless you count the 3DS remake. Yeah, legally distinct. That's that's what we do, Louis. We legally distinct whatever the thing is here. Because we can. Honestly, at this point, it's like a game. I gotta tell you, and Viv, Viv is very good at Legally Distinct. It's one of his favorite games. I am also a big fan. It's true, he is. Am I Both worth it? Both of the game and no, of Viv. Absolutely not. I too am both a fan of that game and Viv. Oh. In fairness, how oh. could you not be a fan of Viv? Like. He's well, the... you could be a terrible person. That's true. That's that's true. Terrible people aren't vi aren't big fans of Viv, but also they're terrible people, and we don't give a fuck what terrible people think because they're terrible. Give hey, me look, all the rich. It's Karen. Hi, Karen. Karen was doing the sing-ins today, uh, at which she is extremely good. Uh, hey. Would while I'm while I'm wishing, would anyone mind shouting out Karen for me since I can't reach the button right now? I would appreciate uh, it. Hang on, I'm fighting a thing. That's okay. Hey Viv, Viv, you could do it. Viv, shout Karen out if you don't mind. <laughs> Thanks, Karen! Karen! Oh, yeah, that's, that's not what you meant, is it? <laughs> hey, I got an extra life. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Karen did some singings today. Which she's exceedingly good out. No, not yet, Viv. It hasn't. It's not a thing yet. The fucking music in this game, it goes hard and I love it. No, I wish it was, though. Oh, I hate those. You shout back. That's fine. You go ahead. Shout all you want, Karen. Shout. Let it all out. Loud noises! Rick, are you just looking at things I in the room I don't know what we're yelling about. <laughs> <laughs> she, she sang a, a hell of a cover song you requested. I haven't got a chance to watch it yet, but uh, Karen, if, if you have the VOD up, I am definitely going to go back and catch that. Because, uh, yeah, I want to watch that. <laughs> We're just yelling because it's what we do. That's fair. That's fair. I do en enjoy a good yelling. I'm really good at it, too. I got these, uh, these, these big old, like, yelling lungs. That's how I play tuba. In. Yellow lungs. Yes, yellow lungs. Uh-huh. Like a canary, something. Yeah, something like that. Louie, have a great day at work, buddy. I hope all goes well and you solve every crime and then you can come home with the satisfaction of knowing that some shitbag is going to rot because you caught him. Don't forget, they're, don't they're forget not your magnifying easy. glass or whatever that works. Yeah, also also your, uh, your deerstalker hat because 
That's what y'all do up there, right? And everybody oh, wears and a deer pipe. Stalker. Oh, I right. Like to I hear you have a pipe, but with bubbles. He keeps that in his utility belt next to his uh, emergency can of haggis. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Louie. <laughs> uh, actually, just deleted it. Yeah, oh. I basically called him Batman with canned haggis at the same time. I would love to see highlights. I would love that, Karen. But yes, I, I completely understand. No, you don't, Louie. You love us, and that's what you hate the most, is you can't help but love us. You can't quit us. I understood that reference. Uh. Viv says as he bats eyelashes. The, the, the eyelashes, the, oh god, oh man, that was bad. The eyelashes, the head tilt, the big toothy shit-eating grin. Oof, that was a bad lap. All right, get out of here, Louis. Go to work. Instead of that, is try having good laps. Oh, is that what I did wrong? Well, I mean, it's where I would start. All right, that's fair. Don't forget your helmet with a flashing light on it. Is that is that a thing that they do? Oh. Uh. All right, fair enough. In my mind, yes. Okay. This man, uh, if I don't get my shit together, this is going to be the first explosion of the race. I did not get my shit together. <laughs> so I was going to say, narrator <laughs> voice. <laughs> Oof. Uh, let me go reset the counter real quick before... Do, 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 do. You considered getting your shit... Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's fine. Have I also considered fourth, first, zero? The affiliate told him he was allowed to celebrate with exactly one fresh haggis and boiled tea. Now, what you might find it is that if he fails to solve a crime, he uh, then owes. The entire country a haggis. Is that how it works? I think. Like like Louis just going door to door giving people servings of haggis off of a truck. Well he has to do it while they're sleeping. Oh god. Like, so they they wake up and the haggis man is gone. <laughs> His haggis claws? <laughs> That's yes. what I was about to say. <laughs> oh man. More or less. Spring is the haggis bunny. <laughs> the haggis bunny? <laughs> <laughs> this is a huge basket of haggis. Well, you can't serve fresh haggis in a basket. You gotta serve it canned. Yeah. Like, otherwise that would just be but, you know, just a, an absolute mess. Uh, if you have been very good, then, you know, you get a can of haggis. You get visited by haggis claws. He puts it under your pillow. Oh, he's the haggis fairy. <laughs> oh man. Okay. All right. All right. I got this. I got this. Okay. If he were actually here, I wonder how long it would take him to try to punch us. <laughs> how long does it take to row over from the UK? <laughs> He's probably already halfway here. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's the Wait, irony. The... <laughs> nice. That's 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 the irony. The he's he's on his way here. He's not actually solving. Oh god. Oh, I'm going backwards. That's I don't want to go that way. Instead of solving crimes today, he's committed one. Yeah, he wins some, you lose some. I'd, we'd be knocked out already. Yeah, you're, you're probably not wrong, Karen. 
package comes from a can. It was put there by a man in a factory downtown. If I had my little way, I'd eat haggis every day. Oh, God. This is the Prime Ministers of Scotland. It's their new, their new track. Welcome to the Thunderscore stream. Scotland's least favorite stream. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, or maybe just specifically Louis. I don't know. Oh, fantastic. All right. I serve... Oh, great. It's it's the second one. I forgot that one and two come, like, of this very track set. Immediately follow each other. Oof, oof, oof. Oof. Boy, that's a harsh one. Those turns are rough. Oh, God. I didn't even make it the first lap. Viv, you owe me another one, buddy, because uh, I did blow it up earlier. Oh. Viv, you know, you're a good duck. I don't care what I say about you. Jesus. Well, you cannot go. You're going to be all right there, bud. That's a rough turn. And that's like right before the last turn of the lap. You gotta hit that turn at high speed. Fuck you, Shorzy. Hubris. My hubris. Hi, Matt. Matt, what'd you have for dinner? Oh my god, this is so bad. I got one last life. Some spaghetti. Oh. We had spaghetti and meatballs last night. It was spagoot. Love some spagoot. I sploot for the spagoot. You know what? The best stuff, though, doesn't have to be fancy. Alright, here we go. We had spaghetti and meatballs last night, and then tonight was what we call buffet night because Bean refuses to eat it if we call it leftovers. Okay. Yep. Bean's like, I hate leftovers. I'm like, what if we call it buffet night? She's like, eh, fine, I guess. Good God. Oh, I gamed over. Alright, let's try this again. No, uh, I'm gonna try it as Falcon again. Hmm. Alright. Queen League, beginner. Because apparently I'm good at games. I'm not good at games. Yeah, it did take us, like... How many years did it take us to get Metroid 4? 
like 37 years, roughly. Like, the Prime games, I never got to play them because, like, the motion control is just... Uh, I'm not good with the motion controls. Um, so I didn't really play Prime. And then we got... Oh, the, buddy. The 2 remake was really good. What? <clears throat> you should... You should try the Prime hack. What's the Prime hack? It's the... It's a Brom hack for uh, the Prime Trilogy on the Wii that I think they made. I think the Trilogy but came it, out on the Wii. Right? Did it, come, it might have been the Wii U. Or the Wii, I don't I know. I can't remember if it's Wii or Wii U, but either way, it's... No, it has to be Wii because it's, uh, it's a Dolphin uh, fork. Oh, okay. And, um... Dolphin... It gives. It's got modern like FPS controls for a for all three Metroid Prime games. Oh man! And they are it's fantastic. Oh man! I gotta do that. That sounds great. I love that. Yeah, I gotta do that. But then like. And they had, like, the Federation Force, which was stupid. Not really a Metroid game, like, let's be real. Samus is in it, but it's not a Metroid game. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Federation Force is the Four Swords adventure of Metroid games. There, I said it. Four Swords so adventure cool. was cool. The Wand of Gamelon. Oh, oh. I don't know if it was that bad. Four Swords adventure was okay not a real Zelda game either. It's good. It's fun. It was okay. And it had Lonk in it. <laughs> well, Federation Force had Samus in it. And it doesn't mean it's a real Metroid game. And then there was Other M, which I didn't play, but like, I don't know. It just... You're probably a better person for it. That's what I keep hearing from people. Oh. So, I've waited. I've waited for Metroid 4, because Super Metroid, the SNES, which was released in, like, what, 92? 93? Was, um, was the last mainline game. Like, the, like the last in that actual series. Or, I'm sorry, no. Um, uh, it's Metroid 5, because 4 was... Fusion, and this like immediately precedes the the events of Fusion, like all that shit that went down. Anyway, we waited we waited for a very long time for a new mainline game, and we finally got it, and it was it's glorious. Like I don't think they could have done it any better if they had tried. So you know. Well done, Nintendo, and uh, whatever the, the other production company was, I forget. But they're also the ones, I think, that made the uh, the 2 remake for the 3DS, which was really, really good also. Which I was a huge fan of. Oh, can we pour one out for the 3DS eShop? Like, sad times. I'm tempted to go get like, get like a, 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 what do you call it? What do you call like the little cards that you get to have money on them? You mean shop cards? Gift, gift cards? Yeah, yeah, but it's like, they have another name for them when it's like in that context. Like a currency card, I think, something like that. Anyway, An the e point is, card. Is, 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 are they really just called eShop cards? Are just called eShop cards. Yep. <laughs> that just listen. That sounds too simple for Nintendo to have Is done it. Thing I said. No. Listen. Shut the fuck up. Your potatoes are rotten. Anyway, I'm tempted to get one of those and buy up a shit ton of like the Pokemon games that are on there just to have them. Like, can't you get the digital version of Sun and Moon? Yes. Um, I like... 
Part of me wants to get one just so I have it. And like, you know, I'm gonna have to... Like, unless all of those Pokemon are in fucking Violet and Scarlet, I'm gonna have to get a, a Sun or Moon at some point. I guess I could just buy a cartridge of it, but like... Then there's the VC titles that I want. I might get like a red and a... Well, no, I guess it doesn't make sense to get red or blue since... My living dex is complete uh, through, like... Oh, let me think. Okay. Going through my living dex, I have everything from Gen 1. Uh, I have... The only thing I have missing from Gen 2 right now is a Politoed, which I traded out for some, like, stupid, ridiculous... Um, legendary the other day that I needed. And then a normal Ho-Oh. The only Ho-Oh I have right now is a Shiny, which I'm certain is was a generated one and not a real one. But I can play I can play through Crystal and get the you know get the cats and be done. Entei's a cat, don't at me. Um Everybody knows Entei's a cat. I don't care what they say. And show me a picture of a duck and tell me it's a chicken. Fuck you. You you got opinions about this, buddy. I sure do. Listen, I just don't want them to try to gaslight me, okay? Look, look at this look at this dog that's definitely not like a lion in any way. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, and Raikou is Raikou's like a a beaver, I guess, right? Fuck out of here with that shit. But yeah, so okay. I gotta get... Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. I'm, I'm Boy, feeling... I if he's okay. I'm feeling ornery. Um... Is this the last lap? Yeah, it is. Uh, so let's see. So I'm... Yeah, I'm just missing, like, a normal Ho-Oh. Um, in three, I am missing a Gorbis. I have a Clam Pearl and I have a Huntail. Don't have a Gorbis. That one's going to be really hard unless they actually national decks. Uh, Scarlet and Violet. Oh because... man, I hate when my Gorbis gets hard. <laughs> <laughs> that one, no, that one's not going to be that hard for you. Um, the trade items for both uh, Huntail and Gorbis are in... Ooh, F. Zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're both in um, BDSP. Can we do local trades in BDSP? Yeah. Like, you can... I can help you get it done. Oh, all right. I thought they had done something stupid where, like, aside from Wonder, the only trading that you could do was through stupid fucking home where you can't no. do item trading. No, it's just not through a menu. You just have to actually do it at the Pokemon Center like the old times. Wait, really? That still works? Yes. Oh my god. They they have um they have hangout rooms. That's how they did it. You you would join a hangout room and then you would talk to a person like that would spawns in your room. Yeah. And then that's how you would initiate trading. Is that how that what the hangout room is for? Yep. For like also for hanging out. Okay, that's just ridiculous. All right, well then I might do that then. I got to go find the uh I got to go find the item though cuz I have like I have the Huntail item, I don't have the Gorbis item. They're both in the uh you can farm them in the underground, yeah. and then they have they each have a static location in one of the major rooms. That's how I got. I, I only know all of this because I literally did this like two weeks ago. What? To, as you were working on your living decks? Yep. Bowser, buddy, trust me, you do not want to go outside right now. Oh, you you having the rain rains out there, over there? 
I'm here. I think I'm hearing that. Yeah. I think we had some earlier. I don't know. Hi, Miss Secret. They're both here now. We have Secret and we have Danielle. I love when they're here together. I don't know why. It just, I don't know. It warms my little ice bear heart when they're both here together. I mean, you know, they are besties after all. Oh yeah, there is several rains happening outside right now. Oh yeah. Bowser, go away. You do not want to go out there. Bowser, no. Bowser running towards the door. <laughs> Bowser, yes! <laughs> Move it or lose it, nerds. Nice. Miss Secret, how are you doing tonight? I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good weekend. I am back on the track that just utterly destroyed me earlier. A busy weekend full of chores with some games in between. Yeah, we did a little bit of that. Actually, most of my chores I did throughout the week this week. So this weekend we just kind of chilled out a bunch. Oh, man. Harrison's back is out of sorts. Oh, that sucks. I hope he feels better soon. I slept funny last night, and that was... Like, I was... I slept slightly twisted. And that was enough for me to just feel like, oof, when I woke up today. Welcome to being old! Right? Mmm. Love approaching 40. Big fan. You're not. Oh, no. That's a dark end. Well, aren't you, like, existing in the age of them? That doesn't mean I'm leveled up enough to fight one. Jesus Christ. What level is this dark end? How the hell do I have to, like... This feels impossible. Oh, we could take him. Fuck it, guys. Let's do this. Dusty swept vacuum back in the couches, moved the old entertainment stand to the sitting room for yard sale move marking, reorganized the living room. Jesus Christ, he written. That is a that's a lot of shit. I actually need to dust. No no no, don't come near me. How am I supposed to make that? What the fuck? Nimbus supervised? Nice. Oh, Viv, Viv says the Dargan wants to touch your butt, Tom. No! <laughs> Tom's out here like Donkey, that's like that's my tail, that's my personal tail. I'm gonna tear it off. Hey, what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> Instead, and try this. And no, see quit how it flying goes. away. What? Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> That's my butt. That dragon ain't touching shit. <laughs> Ali Beth oh, out here back. suddenly showing up to slay a dragon. <laughs> that dragon is back on the escalator. What the hell? That dragon fucked off. 
Well, maybe. Oh, wait a minute. Oh god, the dragon minefield. has returned. I forgot about the mines. Today, my husband drove me to the club of Sam, bought all the things, came home, played two, three hours of video games, and cooked her lunches for the next couple days. Mm, Bean did her meal prep today for this week too. Also, poop scooped the backyard. Put the weeds in the compost bin. Put that bin in the curb for pickup tomorrow. Nice. Uh oh. He's hurting my mage boyfriend. Don't hurt your mage. Tom, did you tell the dragon not to hurt your mage boyfriend? I thought my message was pretty clear. All of the fire I am setting him on. Oh. Well, maybe it's like one of those Krakow dragons that sets himself on the f on fire all the time on his own. So he's not sure what that means, whether that was you or whether that was just like him accidentally doing it to himself. Because you know how them Krakow dragons get. Those... Go ahead, say it. Say it. What's that? Hmm. No, sorry. I'm, uh... Also... Hmm. Fucking with the dragon. <laughs> I haven't killed one yet in this playthrough. So I'm not sure... If we actually have the power to do this. Oh, I see. I see. Everyone send your blessings to Tom for a good dragon slaying. Please get the Pokemon extension. Uh, Secret, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. I know a lot of folks have that now. Like, Nine makes extensive use of it. I don't know. I'm just... I don't know. I'm... I'm really weirdly picky with, like, auxiliary stuff that I add into the stream. Which, personally, I appreciate. Oh god, it's Deathwind 2. The Tomining. Hey, you watch it there, buddy. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm, like, those things are really fun. Like, a lot of those things are really fun. I just, I don't know if it's something that fits in with my stuff. Because, like, I don't want to, I don't want to distract too much. Because, like, really, I enjoy talking to y'all. And I know it's really engaging to, with like, the bot and stuff like that, the different bots to, to do that kind of stuff. I just, I don't know. I don't know, I just, I don't want it to take away from, now this is going to sound kind of dumb, but I don't want to take it away, take away from the time that I have with y'all. I don't know. Also, I like that popcorn emote. Very nice. Oh god. Well, I broke one of his legs. Did you? Well, that's what he gets for being a dragon that tried to fuck with you, or whatever. Well, this isn't over yet. Maybe We're it's like... dangerously low on potions. Big stupid reptile chicken, yeah. See, now that... Dragons? Those are those are just big chickens. How about if I light a fire under your balls? Oh, I don't think he would like that. Uh, yeah, no, he hates it. Does he? Oh boy. <laughs> no, he him and he. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly as I predicted then. Thanks, Karen. Yeah, like I said, like. I think I think those things are really fun, like oh. stuff like stream raiders. Like I'm every once in a while when I have you know I'm I'm able to, I like to participate in stuff like stream raiders. 
but I just, you know, the auxiliary, auxiliary stuff, I don't know if it really fits in with what I'm trying to do. I don't know, maybe I'm just trying to make things too much of like a traditional production here. Which, admittedly, I'm, I kind of have a thing for. It's, it's sort of part of my classical, I don't know, classical production style stuff. I think there's Given what like, night it is, don't you think it should be part of your retro style? <sighs> I know I've said this before, but I fucking hate stream writers. <laughs> I know. Oh, God. <laughs> Meanwhile, we are all just, like, losing our shit around this, these turns. Aha! I just, I think I just shaken baked him. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I want to... Like, this is sort of my time to spend with everybody. Like, the games, just w whatever shit that I'm doing to, to make a stream to, you know, hashtag create content is just sort of my, like, excuse to get everybody in here to hang out, honestly. I just want to hang out with everybody. Literally the only time he ever talks to me. It's true. Can you blame him? No, I don't even talk to me. Oh, oh, did I do it? I did it. This motherfucker's dead. Did you fuck up that dragon? Yep. Nice. Wow. Wow, you got the good one. You like making fun and... And making fun, of, hanging out, and making fun of Krakow. Yeah, that's honestly like the best. Is thank you, Viv. That's the best part. And, yeah, Tom deserved that for sure. That was that was that was good dragon slaying, Tom. Oh, it's an intense battle. Mm -hmm. He actually killed two people, but I was able to revive them. No secret. No, that's not what I. That's not at all what I mean. No, like I appreciate suggestions like that. Um, I, I don't know. I don't mean that in a bad way at all. I just, I don't just, I don't know where stuff like that really fits in with what I'm trying to do. That's all. Like I said, I think for a lot of people, it works really well. And I like doing stuff like that. I just don't, you know, I don't know that it's, I don't, I don't know where it would fit in with my stuff because of. Just the kind of the, the way that I produce my stuff. Oh, I appreciate suggestions. I wanna I wanna try to make this you know, with all, the, again the whole reason I do this is to be able to hang out with y'all and you know if there's stuff that I can do to to make that experience better for you I want to. Um, I just don't know. I. I don't know. Oh. I didn't mean to imply there was anything wrong with it. I'm sorry if I gave that impression. So... Not even. Alternately, I guess 
taking an honest response to something personally is a choice you could make. There's a loaf. Loaf has entered the chat and she is on the toolbox. Hi, loaf. She came by and gave a kiss to my leg. A loaf. Loaf. Love the loaf. She's the best loaf. Oh, and she has now exited back out of the room again. She's the best loaf. She's been so extra snuggly lately. It's been great. Oh, we also finished giving her her, her last round of medicine today for her roundworm that, that she had. So her litter's looked better. Like it's been a while since we found anything bad in it. And she's, I don't know, she's, she seems happier and, like, not as, she was, she was kind of yelling after she went to her litter box, and we're like, okay, maybe this is, maybe this has been indicative of that, and, but, uh, she's a happy kitty now, oh, an, an hmm. even happier kitty now. So, happy kitty is best kitty. It, it, she really is, she's, I don't love this cat. I feel extra soft for the loaf lately. Lately? I got you, babe! <laughs> babe! That's my bean. Happy Loaf is my favorite loaf, too. Especially when she do the chirps. Well, God, I love when she does the chirps. Oh, yeah. Uh, dude, that was a uh... okay. All right, and now for Firefield. God help me. Ooh, I love fire. I also like fire, especially when it flame broils things that I like to eat, like a steak. Oh God, yes. Oh man, steak's my favorite thing to eat. How did you know? Who told yeah. you? Oh, you know. Uh, I too dabbled in college. <laughs> Kilometers an hour. What do they take us for? Listen. This was before the great metric imperial war. Or whatever. All my secrets are out. And yeah. Oh god. Oh man. I forgot about that thing. Right. I remember what the deal is with this place. Yes, yes, yes. The thing that's like, that makes games like this harder, going back to them now, versus like, playing them back then. Back then, we didn't have analog sticks for this kind of stuff, like, everything was on the D-pad. So like you either you went hard left or hard right that was it those were your options now we have analog sticks where we can like dial that kind of stuff in and ease into turns and things like that but boy howdy yeah. tap 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 just tap 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 Figure out when, what night this week we're making. Uh... Be smooth. Be Don Juan de la Nooch. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Boo boo kitty fuck. I gotta figure out what night we're doing enchiladas this week. We also have steak in the fridge. And one of those nights. Um... So we, I went to get steak yesterday and. I had to get it from the Publix. Um, oof, oof, that was a... It's not a bad place to get steak. 
No, not a bad place at all. Um, so, they, the one that we went to, um, they didn't have any that were, see, that's the, that's, that's the thing, Karen, I don't know yet, oh, oh, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not in a good place. Boy. Blue Falcon is about to die. Call the legends for those listening at home. Ah, nice. Oh no! Ooh. <clears throat> so one night we're gonna make enchiladas. One night. <laughs> thanks, 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 dude. Ah, oh, I know, I know, Karen. Yeah, we got to do steak one night. Um, when I bought the steak, um, there it goes. There it goes. Um, when I bought the steak, we only they only had like for Bean likes New York strips, so they only had the smaller ones in two packs, or they had like giant ones. So I went ahead and got a two pack of the smaller ones. So what I'm going to end up doing is the night that I make the steaks, I'm going to cook one of the smaller ones for me. Um, one of the strips for me, um, and I'm going to use that one as leftovers for quesadilla night. I'm going to do quesadillas. Huh. I thought you were going to, like, you know what? I will have that third steak after all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> I am actually having the third steak, so, you know, there's that. and Ooh, that was a actually a pretty decent recovery. Recovery. It is the fun Zippy Rage game. Hi, hey, LT. How you doing, buddy? Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing all right. Hope your weekend with your daughter has been a fun time. Looks like she is enjoying her new bed, which is awesome. Hope y'all have had all kinds of fun stuff, like you know, snacks and TV and video games and. More Pillow snacks. fights and giggles. Yes, all of that fun stuff. Yeah. Or whatever it is you're into. Yeah, you know. Whatever makes her happy, you know? Whatever is fun to you guys. You showed her the world of Fortnite? Is she, did she enjoy the Fortnite? She did manage to get third on her own? Hell yeah, she did. Nicely done. Nicely done. And at one point, a kill. Nice. Well, better than I can do. Hey, you get a kill. You just don't, you know, always get it on your own. You, It's when we use you as bait. Or Lolly specifically uses you as bait. You're a distraction potato. Yep. It worked great. That's called fucking teamwork right there, it's, bud. Well, it's hard to argue with results. That's true. It's true. Tom is the best banana. Yes, he is. It's true. Woo! Two laps left. Two laps left. I think I can manage this. Well, you could. You just jinxed it. Probably. All you have to do is be good. Um. Okay, see, you had me up to that point. Seems simple, really. I don't know. Oh man, oh no, oh no, I accidentally hit the thing where I go whoosh. You ever hit the whoosh thing on accident? I sure have. Not even once. Oh. Let me tell you, cannot recommend. Uh-oh. 
I hit a wall at 400 kilometers an hour, doesn't reverse your insides. It's fine, you'll see. It's, it's fine. It's in the future. Because it's the future. Yeah. yeah. Listen, safety systems have gotten far more advanced in that time. Also, Unfortunately, none of them are installed in this vehicle, but you know. It's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? Listen, who who hasn't... Oh my god, am I going to do it? <gasps> Boy, he's really in my ass there, isn't he? Holy shit, look at, look, look at that. Taking a big old whiff. Like, right? I don't think you want to... I don't think you want to be downwind from this, buddy. You don't well, know. He had his nose up my ass. Well, I'm just trying to tell him. <laughs> he, he did. He touched... He made a spare part, so she put... <laughs> oh. All right, I just falcon punched my way to victory. You're goddamn right, I did. Look at that! Look at that! Where the fuck is? The oh, you know what I need to do at some point while I'm thinking about it. Um, I gotta go back and get a uh, what's it called? With the I gotta go get a, another poly toad. Mm hmm Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, I gotta get another Politoed. Oh, look, I still the I still haven't beaten White Land 2. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Let's go. Let's try it with Falcon again. Queen League. Should I do should I do it on expert and just completely just destroy myself? Mm hmm why not? My, my newest hobby is that whenever there's like music playing that I know the music, I will I will meow it at Loaf so that she understands what it is. Because she might not understand how people music works. So I meow it at her for her benefit. Because, you know, I want to help her well, understand. Well, that's just considerate. Yeah, well, she's the best Loaf and she deserves it, you know. I love her and I would do anything for her. And, yeah. God, I love that cat. Really? Yes. She's the best. I've never heard cat. about this cat before tonight. Oh, that's so weird. Weird. Yeah. But you don't talk about her, or Yeah, I know. I know. She is my child, and I will, I will, I will never shut up about this cat. So, and this. Okay, so the cat, cat's a, it's a female cat. Right. Yes. And, um. You've had the cat a while? Yeah, like like several months. Huh. Yeah. Does yep. the cat know this? Yes. Oh, yeah, she's very aware. Yes. Huh. Yes. I haven't heard any cats talking about you either, which is just weird. Oh, you haven't heard any, like, like... Yeah, you usually don't hear much from the cat. She's just... She spends a lot of time purring. But they're, they're little soft purrs because she's just a baby. Oh, it's a kitten. Uh, yes. Well, sort of. Sort of. She's, she's like, adolescent, but she's very small, you see. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kittens are like rookie cats. They're like, yeah, they gotta, they gotta work their way up to the big leagues. To the big yeah. cat leagues. Uh, yes, Viv. We have, in fact, told Loaf our names. Um, in, f so, funny story. Today, we went to go drop Bean's car off to get an oil change. Um, so, on the way back from picking it up, I came home, and Bean had to go, and she had a couple people in the shop ahead of her, so she had to wait to pay and leave and everything. Um, so, I got home first, and I walk in, and Loaf is sitting on the bar stool closest to the laundry room, the garage, um, like she does whenever she hears the garage. 
She'll like hear the garage and she'll go sit in this chair and wait. And like, you can just see her little face, like, you can just see her little face like sitting over the counter. She's just like looking. She's like, hey, what you doing? Just waiting for us to walk in. So she'll walk in or we'll walk in and she'll be there and then we'll go over and give her pets and stuff. And you know, all the pets, all the snuggles, all the purrs, great. So I get home, do the, do the whole hello to kitty routine and start cleaning the kitchen and like unloading the, and reloading the dishwasher. So a couple minutes after I start into the kitchen, I hear meow. She starts meowing and I'm like, what is it, Loaf? And she's meow, meow, meow. And I'm like, Loaf, are you looking for Bean? Meow. <laughs> she does this big yell because she's looking for Bean and she knows who Bean is. Because like every day when Bean gets home from work and she hears the garage or the um, like the big garage door or the garage door in the laundry room open, I'm like, Loaf, is it Bean? Is it Bean? And she'll run downstairs and go see Bean. Like she'll run, go greet her. Um, so yes, she knows she knows who Bear and Bean are. Yes, she's she's very well versed now. She's a sweet baby, and she loves. She's so so sweet. Um, she's been lately. She's been uh, like. She hasn't been snuggling Bean in the cozy spot in the guest room as much. Um, because she's been actually co snuggling Bean on the foot of the recliner. So she'll get, like, Bean will get up there and... Oh my god, just run me right into the fucking wall, my guy. Uh, Bean will lay down and put her feet up and have have the, the blanket draped over and everything and... Loaf will just get up there and curl right up next to her and nap. There'll be moments like today where, like, at one point Loaf shifted a little bit and then took her head and put it right against Bean's knee. Ooh. Yeah. The very sweet baby. Very, very sweet baby. Just, she has so much love in her tiny kitty heart. And she's precious and must be protected at all costs. Yeah, Bean knee baby. Yeah, this all checks out. Yep. Yep. But yeah, she's been feeling better, and she's a happier kitty, and she's been extra snuggly lately. And I, th I think, she, like our current running theory is that she is she's being extra snuggly because she feels better, and she knows that we've been taking care of her. And that's that's, I'm running with that. And she's she was so good taking taking her medicine because it came in like these, it was like oral medication that came in a little syringe. Um, and we had to do it uh, three times. Uh, we had to give it to her, and then every two weeks after that, give her another, another dose. And so, the first time, the first time I had to take a little bit of convincing and like basically be like, "Hey, it's this is a little treat. Come get your little treat." And then week, like the second and the third one, I'm like, "All right, you want a special treat?" And there was her. She got up in the chair and. I took the, the cap off of the end of the syringe and gave her medicine, and she slapped it up like a little treat. She was very excited to have her special treat. Again, great things about having a very food-motivated cat. Catos love treatos. Mm-hmm. Love a kitty who loves the treatos. It's such a sweet baby. Alright, this is, this is track two. Oh, I was talking about my uh, my living decks. Um, I think for for uh, Gen Four, the only things that I'm missing. I know the only things that I don't have registered right now are uh, Monferno, Dark Ray, and Arceus. Monferno, I'm working on because uh, I I got a 
um, a chimchar, and I got an egg, so I'm waiting on the egg to hatch so I can just level that up and have the Monferno and just throw it back into home so it's just there. Dark Ray I can't fucking get because I didn't buy BDSP in time to get the fucking event thing for it, so I can't do it in-game. I have to wait for the next distribution of that. And then Arceus I'll get in... Well, Arceus. Also, uh, I didn't realize you could get Arceus in BDSP, but that you have to have fucking, like, completed literally all of the missions in Arceus to be able to go get Arceus in BDSP. So that's going to be a um, while before I get a second one. Darkrai is in Legends Arceus. Oh, you, I can catch it in there? Like, I don't need, like, an event? Yep. According to the Bulbapedias. Oh, okay. I will BRB. Okay. Well, if that's in the case, then I guess I could do it that way. That's That'll be nice. Hopefully there are a few other things that I can get that way, too. Maybe some of the Gen 7 stuff shows up in Arceus. I don't know. I don't know, man. I had enough time finishing my uh, one Pokedex in Sword. Uh, honestly, like, it's I am... It's like... Uh... Go ahead. I was going to say, it's... I don't know. It's a lot. It is a lot. Like, it is a lot. But, like, now that I've got... You know, I've been keeping a living Dex in home. Um, so it's... It's actually worked out really well for me because I can, you know... Hell, like the um, the decks in Pearl and Shining Pearl, I was able to yeah. move like basically dump everything from home, except for like a couple of things into um, into Pearl and went ahead and completed my Pokedex. My national decks, I'm still missing a couple. Uh, simply because I'm missing them altogether. Like, again, Dark Ray and, and Arceus, I don't have. Um, so I can't complete the National decks quite yet. And then there's, like, there's that, and then the, the Gorbis, which I'm going to have to work with Lolly to, to get that at some point soon. Um, but, you know, doing pretty good as far as all that's concerned. Like, Considering I never owned a third gen game, um, and I'm just now getting a fourth gen game, the fact that I have all of these Pokemon, I honestly, I'm, I'm a little impressed with myself. I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed to say it. I mean, I, I distinctly remember a time where you refused to acknowledge any Pokemon that were not Gen One. <laughs> that's that's true. That's true. But then you, listen, then you get to something like Gen 8, and they have, um, then they have, uh, what the fuck is it? God damn it. Um, what's the Corgi? Shit. Oh, yeah, I don't remember. But yeah, but, like, yeah, they have, they have the Corgi, and I'm like, well, how can I not love this baby? Ah, Yamper, yes, thank you, Viv. Yes. That's the one. Yep, That's yep, the yep. one. Hey, thanks for the thanks for the host. Yes, the electro pupper yeah. Yamper. Yes. I was like, Bolton's the big one. What's the little one? What's the little baby with the little heart on his butt? Because him's Corgo. Him's a little Corgo with a little heart on his butt. I'm gonna falcon them all to death. Well, I'm gonna try. This is, Tay, this is the track that keeps knocking me out. I've beaten every other track. This is the one that keeps getting me tonight.
on the edge, right there on the cusp. Man. Oh, there it is. There it is. Well done, Viv. Viv was prepared. I did. I did. Oh. So close. Alright, let's try this again. They have that reverb. Oh, oh, Tay, okay, I know, I know. That's one of the things I love about this, like, the F Zero series in general is just, like, wild. Like, I feel like that's goddamn impossible to do. And I've done it. Like, I've done it before. If I can do it the first lap, the other laps aren't going to be so hard. Because I'll get the booster, and I can use the booster to clear that gap. But... The first lap is... Use the boost to get through Channel Star Fox, right? We were talking about Star Fox earlier. Are you winning, son? No. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. If by winning you mean not that at all, then yes. Yes, correct. This is this is the only track tonight that I haven't been able to beat. I wonder if I can, like, ricochet myself off of the back wall somehow to give myself a boost. I love this. This isn't even like purportedly the hardest track in the game because this is the last track of the Queen League, the King League I've already beaten. Fuck you, I landed. Fuck you, I landed on the track. Well, parts of you landed. Ugh. Alright, we're gonna... The game says fuck you. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's... Yeah, Wistu, that's about right. That's it? Those are the only ones? Four. Yeah, there you go. Four. Star Fox Dinosaur Planet? I didn't even know that was a fucking thing. Yeah... It was Star Fox Adventures. Oh. It was the same kind of deal that uh, the first Kirby yarn game had. Where, like, it wasn't... That wasn't the kind of game it was supposed to be. Well, no, I'm sorry. That was the game, but those weren't the characters. Like, it was never meant to be a Star Fox game. Oh. Yeah, Star Fox Adventures was a was a pretty decent Zelda game. 
Also high with steam. TBH. Alright, can I unlock the other one? Can I not, like... Hoy. Okay. Every time you say hoy, all I can think about is hoy, small fry, the, the like the talking fish from Wind Waker that draws on your map for you. And then I get down like this whole Wind Waker path, and I can all I, then I think about things like, you know, the the battleship game guy, kaboom and sploosh, yay hooray! And then there's Beetle, it's like thank you, bye, all that shit. And we don't talk about, uh, we don't, we don't talk about any other side characters in that game that may or may not try to dress as the main character. You grabbed a pick on the road today? Ooh. Nice, nice. I repeat your local city park that has a lake. Nice. I'll have some good pictures. Listen, if y'all are feeling up for it, you can always post pictures that you took in selfies and stuff. That's where uh, that's where I keep most of all my selfies and most of my stuff. Hey, I beat it. Not only can you put selfies in there, you can put someone else's in there. Mm-hmm. It's true. As long as, you know... Why can I only practice? Proved as you got trashy photos and less trashy photos. Pure garbage pics. Listen, I'm my my pictures these days are, are almost exclusively of either the cat or food that I eat and or make. So I don't I don't really have a lot of breadth as far as my. My photos that I take. Yay! Thank you, Wisty. I look forward to looking at them. I fucking love the big blue music. I think it's my favorite track of this whole game. Like, both racing track and musical track. <laughs> it's tractastic. Turbotastic. Just wait until Kiddo gives up part of Yours doesn't have an SD slot. Oh, gotcha. There you go, exactly, Tay. See, you get it. He gets it. Are these really the only practice tracks that I get? Like, I gotta go back. I, I gotta do a little research here in a minute, I think.
Damn, I beat that by over six seconds. Look at that. 27.47. Not bad. <gasps> Creamy noodle skillet meal with chicken and shrimp. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Tay, enjoy. All right. Seriously, that's that's all I get, huh? Right, I'm just gonna go and finish this up real quick, and then go back. You know, just because it says it's for tuna doesn't mean you have to listen. You're goddamn right. I think chicken and shrimp in a creamy noodle dish sounds delicious. Viv, I would love to help you settle something. Absolutely. I have opinions. Let me tell you, I've been... I've had so many opinions lately. I'm... I'm... Yes. Yes, I won't... Not only will I do that for you, but yet, yes, I will do that for you. <laughs> Liz is clean. Everybody, Liz is clean. The national nightmare is over. It wasn't a nightmare. Liz, you, you smelled fine. It's. A, I wouldn't worry about it. Hey, aren't you cooking? She's supposed to be starting dinner. <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. He's gone. Uh, oh man. God, I I love I love when people ask my opinions on stuff because my opinions are bad, and this usually creates more <laughs> more conflict for whoever asked. So in D and D, red dragons are immune to fire damage. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, you couldn't cook one? Could you only eat it raw? Red Dragon Tartar. Hmm. Okay, so here's... Pretty sweaty from a long day of laundry, so clean is preferable. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that laundry will wear you down, man. You need to do enough of it? That's, that shit gets tiring after a while. All the folding and putting shit away. Ugh. Um. Okay, so Viv, here's, here, here's kind of my thought process. Red dragons are immune to fire damage in a living form. However, once you have defeated this red dragon and its life energy is gone, whatever makes it immune to fire damage might not exist anymore. Or, once you, you know, go through the process of preparing it for cooking, you know, maybe its fire protection is truly only skin deep. So, if you ha if you get to the point where you're like, you know, butchering the dragon and preparing it to cook, because it no longer has its life energy, its life force, and you have skinned it, perhaps that's it. Maybe it's just done. You'd think the immunity would come from their skin and scales. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of my thought process too, Liz. Let's try a different car. That's 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 my thought process, Liz. Is is yeah. Now, Viv, you're our local D and D expert, so you know, I'm 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 certain that you are far more versed in this than I am. So, if there is, if you know what gives a red dragon its fire immunity. Please. Take a make dinner! An immunity of specific elements does lend to an inherited magical ability. That's also true. That's a good point, Liz. That's true. An elemental an elemental immunity does typically stem from a magical ability. You can't exactly perform magic when you're dead. Until we get into necromancy, and well, that's that's a that's a different topic for a different day. So while red dragon tartar may also be delicious, and you know, properly cured with through the use of cooking acids, um, don't eat your don't eat your dragon meat raw, folks. 
Make sure it's cooked well, in some fashion. You would also really want to make sure that you uh, are ready for such a thing by having some tartar sauce prepared. Ha 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 ha! There's something fishy going on here, buddy. Uh, this question came from Krakow's D&D chat where we were presented with a storyline where we were swallowed by a dragon and how we do food. Oh, I see. I see. So this is... So what you're telling me, Wisty, is that this, like so many things, is Krakow's fault. Got it. One of the alignment issues mm. of eating the flesh of a sentient, free-thinking creature. Okay, but again, Tay, if it's a if it's dead, how how much thinking is it do is it doing? Like, yeah, that's that's fair, Karen. That's a good point. I should have I should have known that this was Krakow's fault. When Viv posted such a question. I should have known that this is Krakow's fault. That was your hint. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, can we cook the red dragon meat? God, <laughs> and immediately I should have gone, God damn it, Krakow. Is it okay to eat a dead human? Um, you know, in the well, context of Dungeons I mean and Dragons, maybe. Better than eating a live one? Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Outside of those contexts, I don't think we're ready to have that sort of... You motherfucker! He you slammed me out! You blow it up. That's horse shit. He did it again, you son of a bitch. Perfect. Just damn it, Tay. Tay will. Tay's. Tay's never gonna eat his actual dinner tonight because he's gonna be so concerned about the like the physical and philosophical ramifications of trying to cook a dragon. Happens to all of us. Argue that armor on you doesn't make you immune to being stabbed, so the dragon's fire immunity is only being skin deep doesn't logic to you. But stabbing is a physical attack. Immunity to an element is a magical property. Does something does does a creature retain its magical properties, all of its magical properties, upon death? Oh yeah, Wisty, yeah, I got I got repeating turned off, so yeah, it's fun. It's fun when you can't say that I've died twice in a row because it was too quick. It depends on the universe and whether things can be interbreed. If they can, I call it cannibalism because the DNA is too close to nature and could lead to acquired disease. If cannot interbreed, it would be simply be a moral dilemma. God. God. Ah, uh, you know, here, here I was. I was like, "Hey, let's go play, let's go play the murdery space like future racing game, where sh where we just blow up and shit." And I did not expect to come in and have a philosophical discussion about cooking and eating red dragons, or you know, humans for that matter. You, yes, yes, Liz, I, I can tell as. As someone who spends much of my time, free and otherwise, 
uh, with one lollipop. Doesn't have to be a magical property to be immune to an element. It could be something like excess blubber on a whale, which would cold. No, the immunity to fire damage is in the blood, thus in the flesh. Um. Okay. All right then, Viv. Let's let's take this a step further. Then, by that logic, when you butcher a piece of meat, like say a piece of chicken, for example, and let's dragons are just giant. They're just giant medieval chickens. Okay. Um, like a piece of chicken, when you go to cook that piece of chicken, it no longer has blood. There's no blood in that chicken. None whatsoever. Um, so, because that chicken doesn't have blood, if it was a magical chicken and had some sort of elemental immunity because of what was in its blood, it no longer has that because it no longer has its blood. So once it bleeds out, or is relieved of its blood in some way, then, you know. Oh, what a relief. What? What's, what's the relief? Yeah. Like it's relieved, relieved of, its of its blood. your blood. Oh, yeah. Oh, oof. Yeah. Like the chicken is like, thank God. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't have taken one more second with that stuff. <laughs> Several different items that may not be very good for you. Listen, Karen, you do what you you do what you gotta do. You do what makes you happy. As long as you eat something, we can get some kind of food in you. If and, you know, maybe a little nutritional value wouldn't hurt. Look, that happens probably more often than we'd be comfortable admitting in this house. So, what eating shit that that's not good for you as a replacement for a meal? Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, you're not going to be judged for it here? No. No. As long as you eat. You gotta have some food in you. You need something. But, you know, I eat garbage all the time, so... Literally. Yeah, like actual garbage. I've watched it happen. Yep, he, he has. It's true. Peanut butter was included. Hey, you know what? It's got a lot of protein in it. Protein is... Protein's a big deal. You need protein. Way better than amateur team. Yeah. God, amateur teens are the worst. I think they know stuff. Kids these days. Fritz, welcome back, buddy. Tom is happy if you even ate any food at all. That you know, and that's that's the thing. Like, Bean is a little more sensitive to her food needs, so like, so I you know try to make sure that if it's if it's been a while and she hasn't had anything that has like a good amount of protein in it, um, that she been does. a while. Been a while. You know, again, to make sure that she's had uh, had good stuff, because, you know, want to gotta take care of the bean. She's the best bean. Want to make sure she has healthy foods. And everybody's body chemistry is different. You're going to write your own D&D &D world with blackjack and hookers and uncookable red dragons? Ah, so you're going to write a D&D &D world with uncookable red dragons. Got it. <laughs> need to play this game someday yeah Fritz it's good it's challenging uh, I'm playing this one set of tracks for like the fifth time now because it's it's pretty rough like this one uh, this one track coming up next is boy it's a it's a doozy it's just sushi yeah but like see I worry about with dragons the same thing that you have with like chicken like you can't eat raw chicken, you know. You, you you run the risk of things like salmonella and E. coli and stuff. Like chickens are notoriously bad for that. And again, dragons are just medieval giant medieval chickens. So can you safely eat dragon sashimi? I don't know. I I don't think you could.
This might be the uh, this might be the card that gets me through it. True dragons are like lizards and chickens. They can probably carry them out. See, exactly. That's that's at least my thought process on it. Okay, but what if I ate the dragon while it was alive? Well, see, again, now you're getting into like the philosophical and moral thing of eating eating the dragon. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, I guess not for I, you. I, I, I... I have no moral dilemma about that. My question is, will I absorb its powers? Oh, no, I don't I don't think that's how it works there, buddy. But I consumed it. No, no just more months. Please stop hurting the dragons. But what if no. they but what if they're delicious? They know what they did. Yeah, it's, but what if they're delicious? What if what if we're missing out? This isn't Highlander. We don't know. In this in this in this theoretical scenario, it could be. I saw the Highlander movie. It was shit. Ooh. Ooh, if I took that bump right there before I hit the ramp. I just want to point out that uh, all of this discussion, once again, is Krakow's fault. Oh, I thought you were going to say, is making you hungry. Oh, no, no. Making me hungry would imply that I wasn't already hungry. Why can't I talk to... What is happening? Oh, God. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. Fuck! Just off the cusp, man. Chocolate? Okay. You can do that. Now what? There's nothing here to fight. Did you check your butt? For what? Stuff to fight? No, I'm firmly in control of everything that happens there. Oh, nuts. Um, did you check there too? Of the game be glitching. Son of a bitch. I do get the hunger, it's true. Oh god, I gamed over again. Game over? Yeah, something like that. Alright, one more time. Better than game undered. Ouch. I don't want a game under. Cool. Underwear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoops. <clears throat> oh man. Came out in ninety ninety one. Yeah. Yeah, Viv. Sure did, buddy. Yeah, this game is old as fuck. Not unlike me. Also true. Tom is also old as fuck. And balls. <laughs> and knuckles. This conversation has been trouble... Troublematic. Well, I don't know what you expected. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to... Welcome to my house, I guess? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the little smokies. Oh, Bean got me little smokies the other day. She knew I was having a very, like after the week that I had at work this week, 
she knew that I needed a little pick-me-up, so she got me some little smokies. That's Liz. weird, because Ellie Beth got me little bandits. Did she? <laughs> <laughs> just a little smoky in the bandit joke. <laughs> <laughs> he did that just for me and him. Oh, uh, you're not you're not old as fuck, and you're only four years younger. Yeah, don't worry, Liz. You'll get old as fuck someday. Don't worry. I used the word my friend word vomited the other day. Troublematic. Listen, troublematic describing is is probably a really good way to describe like half the shit we talk about here. Or a machine that automatically creates trouble. Also, yes, yes, like the like, like Krakow, for example. <laughs> but not the Popomatic in Trouble, the game. That's different. Troublematic and is not patented. the Popomatic. You what? But it's also patented. It's also that's true. That's true. Oh we my don't god! Want to mess with that. You could stop. Stop talking Bradley's about what year you were born in. You. Stop that. Yeah, that's technically age talk, which that's, is verboten. That's true. That's true. Actually, not technically. It really is. Mm -hmm. We don't we, we we don't talk about age because this is an eighteen plus stream, and if I find out that you are here and you are not eighteen, you will get banned from everywhere. And I mean everywhere. I will ban you on this channel. I will ban you from like the eight other channels where I'm a mod and like the seven discords. So, you know, don't don't talk about your age. And, and then he'll unban you here just so that he can ban you again. I will. It I've, has happened. I've, I've done that. I've seen it happen. I've done that. Hey, you remember that one time I've done that it just to be um, a dick. Dom fucked around and found out and Viv banned him? Oh, man. Oh, poor Dom. Poor Dommy. Oh. oh, I thought you said Tom. I was like, what? No, Dom. Karen, you stop that. You stop that. We know how old Karen is. Yeah. Like, other places you venture on on the Twitch, it is good practice to shut the F up about your age. Yeah. You know how Karen is, though, because, you know, she just had a milestone birthday, which we're very proud of her for. And frankly, I'm what jealous. What a great birthday, Hever. Frankly, I'm jealous. I don't look that good at that age. I don't look that good at this age. I don't know, Wissy. You're uh, you're you're holding it better than I am right now. I'm uh, I'm looking particularly oof lately. In fairness, well then maybe fine. you should can maybe you should consider whooshing then. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. That's it. That's it. Hey, Wissy posted a picture of me in the chat. Weird. Which appears to be a garbage can on fire. That is crazy, because it sounds like self-deprecating humor, and I thought uh, we were against that. Huh, that's so weird. So, maybe you should fucking quit it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Me? That's impossible.
Listen, I have I have honestly been having a rough go of it lately, so Moot. So don't make it worse. Listen, it's it's a coping mechanism you. and it works for me. No, it works for no one. Oh god, oh Ooh. god, oh god, I pushed the whoosh but button. Also hiss. <laughs> I would listen to him. He's literally the only one of us that has managed to get around with seeking therapy, so he might know a thing or two. Ouch. Ouch. Like, I mean, you're out of line, but you're right. But ouch. Ouch, Kibibbles. You will correct me loudly? I don't want that. Go back to laughing loudly. Go back to the thing where I, like, I hear you cackling in the background from across the house. That one's, that one's much better for me, specifically. Listen, every once in a while, I'm allowed, okay? Don't take it for granted. I haven't made a self-deprecating joke in months. I get... Yeah, I get, keep it up. Listen, I can have one. No. Listen, it's my... It's my self-deprecation and I want it now. No. I'm I'm stubborner than you. Eh, you said that. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, here comes this pair of tracks. God damn it! All right, let's do the first one. Hello! Oh my god, there's a hidden. Listen, I got my Not one. Just one. I got my one. Just let me have the one. That's all I ask. No. No, quit it. Holy shit. That's, 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 that's over a year. That's a year plus plus. Literally plus plus. Hidden, thank you for the resub, buddy. I love you. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing good. I hope you had a good weekend. Clearly, I'm not able to stay alive very well in this game. In fairness, it is, it is very wooshy and also very kaboomy. All the kabooms. <laughs> what even was that? <laughs> Did you see that? An <laughs> earth shuddering kaboom. Oh, that was fantastic. Well done, me. Well fucking done. All right, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. Listen, hidden. It's. Listen, it's just. It's very wishy. <laughs> yeah, it does that. <laughs> That's the thing with this one this one vehicle. This is the fastest vehicle in the game. It also takes a million years to get it up to full speed. The acceleration on it is trash. And I just basically completely missed the recharge station. I mean, to be fair, you, you might want to consider getting good, and then maybe you won't need to get up to speed as much. Listen, we've had this talk, all right? You're asking a whole lot of me, and honestly, I don't think that's very fair. Like, I'm, I'm, you expect me to get good, but I cannot get good. I am, I am infamously bad at these things. That's the shtick, you see. 
is me being bad at the things, which makes the entertainment, which makes the content. Which pays the bills. Well, something, something like that. <laughs> it pays for my other Twitch subscriptions and the monthly fee for the <laughs> for the for the merch store. Oh, thank you, Wisty. That's fantastic. Sorta. Sorta. It pays certain bills. It's basically just like one big circle jerk. Like the money I make from the stream goes into other people's streams because I love them and I want to see them continue to do things. And then also the merch shop because I want y'all to have fun merch that is fun and cute and has stuff on it like bean and loaf. But it's also want, merch. But it's also you merch. You just want an army of people wearing t-shirts of a cat nomming upon your finger. Yeah. Why do you think it's featured on the fucking homepage? Just remember, folks. Kid Arena walked so that loaf could run. Oh, dang. That... Kitarino starved so that Loaf could numb. <laughs> Ouch. Maybe Zunder's fingers were the fish we ate all, 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 all the time. I'm just gonna shut up. That's Words? Fair. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, roll, I rolled, a, rolled a one on that word vomit there, so I'm gonna just stop. <laughs> I rolled a nine just now. I don't know what that means, but I did it. It means, uh, it it means, means you no need to in German. Give loaf love. It means <laughs> didn't do great. Didn't do terrible, but didn't do good. It did okay at best. <laughs> See, this is what I would be saying to Loaf if she was here. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this. Yeah, no. Oof. understand how to get across there like and we've broken 190 hours uh. did make very good progress okay I didn't first of all I didn't know that there was a stack overflow for games there's literally a stack overflow for games yes Oh, yeah. God bless them. Okay. According to the stack overflow for games, it says if I hold down on the D-pad when I do the jump, I'll go further and land at top speed. I didn't know that worked. I didn't know you could angle your nose down to go up like that in this game, but I guess if you're going over a jump, you're flying, technically, so... I'm flying! Alright, here it comes. We're gonna try this and see how it goes. <gasps> oh my god, it worked! Oh my god, it worked. Uh, uh, uh. 
Thunder was today years old when he learned things about this game. I mean, I'm sure I I knew it before, but I forgot because it's been so long. And I've like I've beaten all of these tracks before. It's just you know been 25 years. Oh my god. It truly does work. Incredible. Incredible. Folks, I'm going to beat this game on beginner, but I don't care. I don't know that I've ever beaten it on expert. I've beaten it on normal. Has anyone really? Uh, yeah. Nerds. No. Those are th That's doctored footage. Is it? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they can do all kinds of crazy shit with computers nowadays. Thanks, Twin Galaxies or whatever. Yeah. Yes, I figured out how to look it up online finally, Viv. That's what I learned how to do. And much like my development career, I took the first answer from Stack Overflow and applied it, and my code works. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Just like in the simulations. Just like in the simulations. Wait, Wisty, did it make you censor that? Did it make you, like... If so, that's hilarious and amazing. That's it. That's it. I did it. I have beaten F-Zero. <sighs> well, I can retire from gaming. I beat F-Zero on Beginner. Oh, well, excellent. Yeah. So, I've had a great career. Um... You know, thanks to everyone who could join me along the way, and uh, yeah, it was fantastic. One of the options had the sensor. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so it it doesn't it didn't make you sensor, but it suggested it highly suggested that you did. Oh. Look at that. There we go. Ooh. I love that, like, I have so many other completions. It literally took me five tries. Or, like, five, five full runs to get it. Ooh, that was the slowest run of those. That was my time trial. Look at that. Look at that. That's fantastic. And you know what? I think that is as good a place as any to go ahead and call it a night. Here I am. It's me. Hi. I live inside the box. I live inside this box. Let me out. Right here. Me. Okay. I'm stuck in the box still. Uh, hey, tomorrow is 14. Uh, I'm going to continue the post Heaven's Word MSQ. So, um, you know, doing all that kind of fun stuff. Let's see. I'm going to be forever lost to my island. Yeah. Hope you don't yeah. Mind. yeah, no, Lolly just lives on his island sanctuary now. Um 
Oh yeah, Tay, no, it's it's over, buddy. It's over. Uh Viv, excuse you. Reverse! Reverse! Sorry, I'm gonna call him like I sees him. Uh Wednesday is group therapy night and um, Reverse! Damn it. Reverse! The double reverse. I did not see that coming. I totally saw that coming. Draw uh, four wild. <sighs> Damn. There he is. There it is. Oh, you never turned off the colors. <laughs> no, but no one redeemed it, so it works out. <laughs> Hi, Memento. Bye, Memento. <laughs> hey, Memento. Happy birthday. It's Memento's birthday? Yeah. Hey, happy birthday, buddy. I hope you had an excellent birthday. And I hope LeFay got you something very nice that you can wear with anything. Or also eat. Either one. Um, all right, let's see. Yeah, so Wednesday's group therapy, and I don't know what I'm doing yet, as is tradition. Uh, ooh, but tomorrow night's the big announcement. So, yeah, you want to be here tomorrow night. You want to be here tomorrow and Wednesday. I will make the announcement again on Wednesday, but tomorrow I'm announcing it in earnest, and uh, it's going to be pretty great. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, Wait, who's Ernest? You know, Ernest P. Worrell. You know what I mean, Vern? You're going to be in him? It's... Balls deep. <laughs> you said you would be announcing it in earnest. I mean, I could have said it into his ear. That's You didn't have to go balls deep. Oh my god, this is... balls deep no, into no, his no, ear? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he's not a size queen. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> This is why this is why we can't have nice things. Oh god. Oh my god, this is just uh, just fucking y'all are terrible. Y'all are bad and you should feel bad. All right? No, I sure don't. Um That's true. Listen, if y'all ever feel like having a uh, a stream watch party while while I'm streaming, you can always go in the Discord and do it in there. Um also, also, if you have, uh, if you're subscribed to the channel, you know, I'm just going to, if you're subscribed to the channel, there is a sub only chat where you can hang out in what I like to call Ice Bear's Freezer. That's the voice channel for subscribers. So, um, you know, do that. <gasps> what if, Viv, what if instead? Hey. Loaf acquisition in progress. Please hold. Oh. oh, she's she's not interested. She came in, got on the toolbox. I tried to grab her, and she's like, "Nope." Want a treat? <laughs> Want a treat? Your call is important to us, but our loaf is more important. She's now sitting in the doorway. She's just sitting there looking at me. Hi, loaf. She's the best loaf. Love that loaf. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, announcing September stuff tomorrow and Wednesday, so looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Uh, I'm, yeah, it's, it's going to be fantastic. Okay, uh, uh, let's get out of here. It's time to go. Who are we going to go see tonight? Um, Viv, basically, yes. Basically, yes. Um... We could bring our uh, D and D question to Warbear. That's true, Warbear. He's he's doing the streams right now, doing his D and D stuff. Um, you know who else is streaming D and D stuff? Is Joe Cat? <laughs> oh, we could just randomly show up there. Um, Tay's playing Plate Up, which sounds like some kind of cooking simulator thing. Which would that be fun. game is fantastic. Is it? All right, that's... I played I played it a bit the last few days. Well, that's good it's, enough for it's me. It's a roguelike. It's like if a roguelike had a baby with overcooked. Perfect. Only less asshole-ish. All right. Well, then we're going to go see Tay. Fuck it. All right. Um, hey, thank you all again for being here. It was an absolute blast. Um, and I beat the game. So, yes. All right. You just lost. God damn it, Lolly. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow for 14. Um, until then, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And uh, that's it. That's that's all I got. Yeah.
Get out. Penis. <laughs> <laughs>